Welcome to kitchen tutorial number six, the final uh, tutorial on the kitchen. Well, we've come a long way. Um, the last thing we're going to do, uh, I think you'll find fairly easy, uh, we're going to create some viewports. And viewports are uh, views of our original drawing that we can bring in to another sheet, in fact, to a sheet layer, um, rather than a... Um, well, so originally we had our saved views. You know, these all have, uh, are on design layers over here. If you look, here's our, here's our, all of our layers. This is on a sheet layer. And, um, this, uh, sheet layer is different than the others. One thing that's, uh, well, there's more than one. There's a bunch of things that are very advantageous about uh, doing this and creating viewports. Let me see if I can run through them for you. First of all, you can change the scale on these drawings as you bring them in from your original. You can change the views. You can make them, you know, whatever view you want. You can change the rendering. So, so they're totally uh, separate from your original drawing except that if you make an update if you change something in your original drawing you can very easily go to these viewports and update them and they will make the change as well this is different than what we did when we created the plan view and the elevation view using design layers and we created a new view called elevation and one called plan those won't update if we go back and change the model the 3d model that we drew those changes won't carry over to uh, the plan view and the elevation we would have to either you know make the change and then uh, copy and bring it in again or make the change on the on the uh, the other views so that's that's a real power of this is that these things are updatable so you can change the scale you can change the the sheet size you can you know if you if you're um, you know the major part of your plans uh, your elevation your uh, your um, plan view your perspective view you all you want all of those on um, a 17 by 11 sheet like we did but for this uh, group of drawings you want it on a larger sheet you can do that and it doesn't affect the other sheet sizes at all so a lot of advantages to viewports and um, you can draw sectional viewports uh, there's just a whole lot of stuff you can do but for now what you're going to do is um, create a new viewport and what I want you to do for this class is I want you to create at least three viewports. Okay, and I'll redo that again. So what I originally had here was um, uh, these three. I had, a, I had an elevation. I had a left uh, perspective, sort of a bird's eye perspective. All right, let's create a new viewport. So let's go back to our original drawing which for me was right perspective. There it is. And I'm going to go to view, create viewport, and this opens up. Now, the viewport name, um, I'm going to call this, um, we'll just leave it at viewport 4, that's fine. Sheet 1, now the, the most important thing for you is, is that when you come down here that you go up and select new sheet layer. I'm I'm doing the same one. So this is going to create different. If you had multiple sheets, you might have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. We're only going to have one sheet, so we're going to draw everything right here on sheet one. Um, okay, so drawing title, we'll call this uh, plan view. And uh, we can turn layers on and off. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Uh, classes, I'm going to leave the classes the way they are, but I could turn things on and off if I wanted to. And actually, I, if you notice, I have the floor and I have the ceiling turned off right now. That's so that I can show different views and not obscure uh, the view of the kitchen. 
I can change the scale. In fact, I'm going to change the scale for this view to quarter inch equals one foot. I can do custom views. I'm going to do top plan. I'm going to render it as, um, well, I'll keep with the sketch. And let's see, final quality, artistic render works. Let me go to the artistic render works. Rendering settings. I want to have a, let's see, let's do it in crayon. This is what I want you to do. I want you to kind of play around with this thing and have some fun with it. Okay, change the colors. And this is the only way you will really get to uh, know, you know, what you want to do is if you go in and try some of these things and try them out and you're going to find certain things that you really like. And so, you know, that's what you'll do time and time again when you do your drawings. Um, but if you don't get in there and play around, you'll never know what, what's there. I don't have time or bandwidth to, uh, uh, you know, show you everything okay so I'm gonna get rid of the the background I'm just gonna say none here and projection is going to be orthogonal and um, so there we go there it is and boom there it comes in to my drawing now I'm going to update it Whenever you see those um, little candy stripe lines around the, uh, the viewports, that means that it needs to be updated. So any change that you make to a drawing, if I, if I come in you know, to this bird's eye view here and I change the, the rendering, before it will show up, I have to update it. Okay, so it looks like that one's updated, and you can select all of them and update. Take It'll take a minute to do. All right, everything has uh, completed rendering, and that's what I want you to do is just uh, create these viewports, play around with a little bit. There are some good, um, well, there's not a lot, but there are some tutorials on YouTube. If you go to YouTube or if you just go to Google and type in... Uh, viewports and vector works uh, you'll see some uh, additional information on this um, but it's a it's a strong component of vector works and uh, I think it's something that uh, I'll be certainly using more and more and more it's relatively new it's been around probably for about four or five years in vector works um, but um, anyway there you go get that done and uh, send it to me um, uh, and through the Dropbox and um, I'll see you on the next project which is the little house project actually I won't see you on the next one because it's a uh, handout that you're just gonna follow and uh, should be fairly simple I think you'll you you'll find it easy to do um, so enjoy and um, take care